Hi, this is Brian, and I'm going to show you my haul from the Goodwill bins last Friday. So two days ago. Today's Monday. And uh, Saturday. Gonna, Saturday. We went yeah, Saturday. We went Saturday. I'm going to show you the things that I got. I got some pretty good stuff. First, I have a table runner for the 4th of July. It's hard to show it, but... I paid probably 50 cents for it, not even that much. Um, and I can probably sell it for 20 bucks, 25 bucks. And we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for this brief introduction. Hi, I'm Brian. And I'm Colette. And we are resellers on multiple platforms. We've been doing it for many years. Brian is a full-time reseller and I do a part-time and we source from the usual suspects. We go to thrift stores, we go to the Goodwill bins, we go to estate sales, garage sales, we do a little online arbitrage, and we even buy liquidation pallets. And we're here to share what we know with you to help you either start your reselling journey, or improve your reselling journey, or answer any questions you may have. Yes, and we are new at this, so please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And if there's any content you want to see, or if you have any comments, or constructive criticism and feedback, we would appreciate it. So please leave a message below. Thank you. And then Colette found this. You know how everybody loves an Afghan. Oh, am I, do you want me to do this one or you want? Oh no, it's yours. This is a nice Afghan. Crocheted. Crocheted. Handmade. Who knows when it's from? But that was $2, right? And this we can probably sell for uh, 40. 40 to 70, anywhere, 40 to 60, right? Somewhere yeah. in there. Yeah, 40 to 60. Then I got a nice Salty Crew, yeah, Salty Crew uh, hoodie. And Are those sharks on it? Those are not. Oh. There's not one shark. That's still on very it. nice. Yeah, they're just regular fish. I don't even know what kind of fish they are, but it's nice. And that was probably two dollars. No, yeah, two dollars probably weighs ten ounces. So, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, soft goods are three dollars and nineteen cents a pound. Yeah, and that's from, bins. This is uh, clothes or soft goods. Hard goods used to be shoes, but now they throw those in uh, soft goods. the soft goods, which they're not very soft. And here I got a Disney hoodie like this. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Well, of, you can do it a little lower, but just hold it up longer. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's Tiana. Yeah, and try and straighten and hold it straighter. So do this item from the get-go again and edit it out. Because it has a hoodie. It's a short sleeve hoodie for little girls. Yeah, it's a short sleeve hoodie for little girls. It has Tiana on it. And it's in really good shape. The graphics on it are in really nice shape. I don't even think it's been worn. Probably get not, not very much, like $10, $15. But then Colette found these. They're... Uh, under Armour, I think they're golf shorts. They're performance is what they're called, Under Armour performance shorts. And these are blue with white stripes and they're size 36R. And I got another pair just like them, but in brown. So the same stripe, but in brown, those are in blue and same size. 36R is a really good size too. That one has a button, right? It's just not buttons. Yes. Yeah. And the zippers work. So this, for both these, is probably a dollar, excuse me, probably a pound, so $3.19, and I can sell them for probably $40 to $50 for as a set. Then I got, Colette found this. It is, it says, I don't even know what it says on the back. Street creation? Mm -hmm. It's vintage. It's vintage, definitely. It's a, I don't even know. 
It's a size 4X. And it has the California bear on it, which is hard to see. Does it, is it showing up on camera? Yeah, stand up with it, actually. It's a large t-shirt. It's a, yeah, it's for, and large cell, it's a 4XL. 4XL sell very well. So if you're out there and you find anything, doesn't even matter who made it. If it's a 3X or a 4X or a 5X, most likely it's gonna sell. Because big people need clothes too, but they just sell. It's harder for them to find stuff. This is a uh, Dodgers, and I think you found this too. Yeah. She found a lot of stuff for me. It's a uh, majestic Dodgers uh, jersey. I no name. I Just think it's, it's a licensed one too. Yeah, it's licensed my yeah by MLB. MLB, and that was probably a dollar fifty because it's so light, and could probably sell it for thirty five forty dollars. Then we got some vintage Wrangler jeans. And these are made in the USA. That's how we know they're vintage because they stopped in 2005 making Wranglers. Why, why don't you show the tag inside so people know what we're talking about? Good idea. I don't know if it's going to show up. No, it's not going to show up. Yeah. But made in the USA. Yeah, but it is made in the USA. And jeans usually weigh about a pound and a half. So that those were probably 450. So that's kind of expensive for the fans. And I got this on Colette's advice because some hipster's going to want this when he's going to a, a party or a barbecue, you could almost wear it as a bowling shirt. But it's very nice, very, very uh, good. Uh, it's called Red Cap is who made it. And I can probably get 20 bucks for it. It's an extra large, so it's a good size. Yeah, it's a good size. I don't know, you, it's just that. I don't know what my keywords are gonna be. I don't know what's gonna draw people in. So trendy, I guess, hipster. If anyone has any suggestions, yeah, much appreciated. Put, yeah, put them in the comments below if you have some good uh, keywords that I can use for that. And this is a Lucky Brand um, Triumph. And anything Triumph or Indian, or they sell, I think, better than Harley. What do you think? I think so. Yeah, because you don't see them very often. No, not at all. No, and this is a, uh, it's a medium. I probably wouldn't have necessarily picked it up at, no, I would have picked it up at a, um, at a, a Goodwill, the actual store, mm -hmm. because it's unique, so it's gonna sell. But if like I saw a Mickey Mouse shirt that's a medium, I'm not getting it, because it doesn't sell as quickly as an XL or a 2XL or a 3XL. And then we just got this one, this is a Vans, and the reason we got this, this is an extra large. The reason we got this is because of the... The off the wall and the yeah. skull. Am I holding it in the right spot? You sure are. Okay. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. Is that better? It's a little more crooked now. Whoops, up, up, there you go. Okay, so it says Vans off the wall since 1966, which is when I was born, that's a great year. Year of the horse. Anybody else out there that's a Virgo, you can agree with me in the comments below. Although the year of the horse is Chinese astrology. Oh, this is yes. fantastic. Yeah, this is really cool. It's a towel from El Salvador. Yeah, this is really nice. We like the colors on this. So if somebody's gonna want this as their uh, beach shell, some uh, artsy person, what do you think? Or you could even use it as a wall hanging, depending on what someone wanted to do. Yeah, that's true. 
or if someone even wanted to like quilt on the other side of it or do something else or they could embroider on it and upcycle it in multiple ways. Yeah, that's they could upcycle it. But mm -hmm. I really like it. It's it's nice. And it does look like it's vintage. Okay, this has it's a Roper. Roper is a good brand. It's a uh Western style? Yes. And it's a good brand. They sell for decent money. This will probably sell for thirty to thirty five dollars. So pretty much everything that I've gotten is bread and butter. Yeah. I don't really have anything beyond that. But there it has pearl snaps and I I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Because when I looked up comps, everything was coming. Oh, does it have the contrast cuffs? Oh, yes. And it has flip cuffs. I love a good flip cuff. Look at that. That is, that is nice. Colors yeah, are and, great. And usually the flip cuff ma matches the collar, but they didn't do it on that. On, on at least Robert Graham and Thomas Dean, the other, the ones that I like to wear. I like a good flip cup. Okay, what's this? That is oh, Troll port. Company. And the so this is the back. It says Port Blue Collar. Dirty Hands Need Clean Money, Troll Company. I don't even know what this means, but support blue collar, hard, hard workers. So that's a good one. Somebody's gonna buy that. Probably get like 20 bucks, 25. Is that better? Yeah. Okay, and these, this is uh, old look, money luxury. Those are fantastic. They look like golf pants. What's another one? Old money luxury. Well, they're plaid, and they, they hem in the, it looks like they need to be hemmed. But as you can see, there's a tag right by Brian's finger, so we can tell that this had actually been in a Goodwill store. Yes. And it is Zara Man. But just because of the unique print, Zara isn't necessarily the first thing I'm going to pick up. And I know Brian isn't either, especially not at full, you know, goodwill prices. But at the bins, it is, it's definitely worth a pickup. Yes. Because these are probably, because of the print, and if I put the keywords old money and luxury and preppy. Golf. Golf, country club. Country club, put all those keywords in there. Um, it'll probably sell for like. 40 bucks. It's been, oh, and these, uh, these are for... Cosmic Cat. Yeah, Cosmic Cat. Okay, I had him riding a shark through a rainbow shirt that sold for like 40 bucks. So this is the same guy eating a taco and a piece of pizza. <laughs> He's hungry. He has a but munchie. I, I don't know. It's a uh, 8T. I don't know any boys that would wear this. I, I think there are. I think some people would appreciate that. And, and we'll find out. Uh, yeah, we will. Eight, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. It'll probably sell. And we'll keep you updated when we sell these items. And this is called Proud 90. What, what's funny is this is Colette found in other bins about three or four of these, right? Yeah. And these sell for like 40 bucks. Yeah, it's a nice golf brand. And to know. so they're all the same size. I'll probably let her list it because uh she can are you gonna lot them together i'm gonna figure it out what i'm gonna do after i share mine i i think i'd go separate yeah here this is a 2xl star wars and usually same thing with the small disney shirts i wouldn't pick up this even if it was an xl uh at um a regular Goodwill? Yeah, the regular Goodwill. Like, I wouldn't pick up a lot of this stuff if it wasn't at the bins. Because I'm not spending five bucks that for That shirt looks almost new. Yeah, it's in good shape. Let me see how the tag looks. Yeah, it looks like, no, it's been washed. Tori Richard. Tori Richard, which is a good brand, right? Yeah, Tori Richard Honolulu. I do very well selling Tori Richard Honolulu for is women that as what well. This is? Yeah. Tori Richard. Oh, is that the full name? Yeah, it's Tori oh. Richard in Honolulu. And there are a lot of Hawaiian prints. So, got some pineapple. Are these embroidered? 
No. That would be nice. Yeah. But for a dollar fifty or whatever it costs, it'll probably sell for forty forty dollars. Yeah. I think all my Tory Richards stuff sell. Yeah. Sold pretty quickly. Then I have a John Deere hat. This will sell. People love John Deere. It, if you guys find quirky hats, especially when this is only going to cost you 25 cents, right? Yeah. If that, maybe not even that. Um, well, they raise their prices. It might be 50 cents now. Well, this probably weighs four ounces. So okay. what's that? Uh, 75 cents, 80 cents? Yeah, about 80 cents. Yeah. That's cheap. Oh, price just went up though. Pick it up. And then here's Go Climb a Rock Yosemite, Yosemite National Park. Nice. For the hikers. And what's funny is I found a uh, pair of rock climbing shoes there that I'll show you in a bit. But this one, I only, I basically got it, I pick up anything that's uh, tie-dye, because tie-dye sells. My holding it straight? Yeah, we just need, the little strings are hanging over, but it says cross-country runners kick asphalt. Yeah, somebody's going to buy this. Some kid in college or high, high school. school. Yeah. And it's a hoodie? That's a nice yeah. one. Those are nice it's, colors. It's a hoodie. Yeah, those hoodie, or those colors sell. Yeah, they're very vibrant. I just sold a Santa Cruz Slugs one in, in uh, tie-dye. And here's another hat. This is the Vegas Golden Knights. For all the ice hockey fans, it's and, Adidas. Yes, it is Adidas. Or is that the right way to pronounce it, Adidas? Adidas know. is the correct way to pronounce it, but everyone knows it is Adidas. So. Oh, this is cute. It's, it's an embroidered, so far, all of them have been embroidered, which I guess all hats are, or most. But this is Juno, Alaska. Juno. And it has a whale tail. Juno. And it says pure Alaska. And if you guys can find anything of uh, shirts or hats or sweatshirts of locations, like uh, not necessarily Cabo, and because you can get them for cheap, but of like Belize or anything like that. Any unique locations, they'll definitely sell. Oh, and I got these. For me, actually. Nice. What are they? Swim trunks. Tommy Hilfiger swim trunks. Nice. Tommy Hilfiger makes good stuff, but he doesn't sell well. He sells terribly. And they say that about Tommy Bahama, but his stuff sells. I, I've sold so many things to Tommy Bahama. You're not getting a lot of money, but so these are a size XXL. These are nice, huh? Those are really nice. Yeah, those are mine. Mine, mine, mine. Then Colette found me this, a pair of O'Neill golf shorts, 38s, which is a good size. Yeah. Good size. 34, 36, 38, 40, and larger. 34 is kind of pushing it, but 36 and up generally yeah, and sells. And then when you get into the 40s quickly. and the 50s, oh my God, they sell well. They they sell nicely. Then I found another hat. This one's a really nice one. It's Polo Baby or Kids. Oh, so it's yeah. a small one. It's Polo. And it's funny because I just sold a polo hat this week that no Lacoste and I didn't even have measurements for it there weren't even measurements in it and they still bought it that's it's unlike one size. You. it's not adjustable so uh -huh. it's one size so and that's yeah. unlike you not to put measurements well no I didn't put measurements because they didn't have measurements in the hat mm -hmm. okay this is I don't remember getting this well surprise surprise what do we have Huh. Like what I was saying, destination places. Monterey, California. Monterey Bay, Cal State University, alumni, 1994. 
So that's getting very specific. And it's vintage, Dan. Wait, is Alumni Monterey Bay? Monterey Bay doesn't have a... Yeah, there's a Cal State up in Monterey Bay. Is there really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Cal State University, Monterey Bay. I'm going to have to look that up because that's very specific. <laughs> 1994 Cal. But the yeah. thing is, is but people it'll still sell. people like to buy universities, especially more prestigious universities. Well, yeah, if you found a Yale made by Yale, or Harvard made by Harvard, that when when it's made by them, it's worth a lot more than just uh, a, a no name making it. Okay, and then I got some, got a Duplo plate. What did this cost, honey? Twenty cents. 24 cents. 24 cents for this. I can probably sell it for $15, $20. I don't even know if I'm going to sell it. Um, because it's, I figured for 24, I figured it would be about 50 cents actually, actually. But to ship it now is such a pain in the butt. It's, it's expensive too, because, oh no, it probably only weighs eight ounces. So they said it weighed 0.2 of a pound, so because hard goods sell for a dollar ninety. Yeah, but that scale's yeah. not accurate either. That's that was in the shopping cart on that huge industrial scale. So this these are called Christian Gallery. Pretty sure that okay. they are. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Well, they're made in Mexico. But I looked up comps, they went for like 50 bucks. Mexican leather, they have really, there's really nice leather work done in Mexico. So. so oh, those are interesting. They, they're like textured on them too. Yeah, they're nice. The, the, the. Oh, leather soles too. The sole, that's what interested me in them. Yeah. It was uh, the leather soles. They're, uh. I so, know, there's some scuffs on the toes, but we'll, we clean yeah. up shoes before we list them. So we'll get them cleaned up and. I already cleaned them. Oh. <laughs> oh. So I think I can get, I think the comps on these were 45 and up to 60, something like that. So they sell. Then I buy, or, well, I did, we did buy, a, they're called 510, but I don't know the make because the name is scratched off and it doesn't say it. They any, almost look like the Peloton. No. Yeah. But they're, for hiking, or for rock climbing. Oh, they are rock climbing. Yeah, yeah they're for rock climbing. So. so you know what we're going to have to do? A Google reverse image search? Yeah, I think that's the best thing. So I think 510 may be the brand. Uh, it might be. So I'm going to Google search it to get the exact. It, it has some a little bit of damage, but still, it'll probably sell for 35 bucks because these are expensive new. Specialized shoes are always a good find. Yes, that brings me to these. These are called Physics, F-I-Z-I-K. And I have no idea what these do. They're missing straps. So I went online and looked and the straps are not on those pictures either. And then they have these, which I don't know what these do. And then the th there's a thing on the side that, oh, it tightens it. Oh, oh that's, that's cool. That's very cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. okay. So obviously you don't have this tightens it. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. And what are those shoes for? But these are for biking. Nice. Whenever you see shoes with this, that's where they clip. Can you see? Yeah. You put, uh, you screw it on a. Uh, a pedal? Well, no, you screw on a little adapter that attaches to the pedal. Is it obvious that I'm not a biker now? No. Okay. Cause... But yeah, that, that makes sense that they would tighten like that so that your laces didn't get caught in your pedals. That's a good idea. I didn't even think of that. It's well, been, learn something new every day. <laughs> it's been so long since, and these, I, I, I think I saw that I can get like 50 bucks for these. Nice. And they were probably a dollar. I cleaned them up though. Well, and maybe then, a little more because shoes are 319 now. A pound. 
But it's still a fantastic buy. I got some. I'm gonna have to clean those up a little more. Let's see. Hocus. And hocus sell very well. These new, I think, are. Is that better? Yeah. The, the sole's not the greatest. It's not cracked. But no, there's no. Well, no, there's no cracking. And the insole. Oh, those are nice. They're the Bondi. The Bondi yeah. 8. I think they sell for like 170 new, something like that. And what size are those? Um, 13s. Oh, that's a nice size. Yeah, 13s. That's a really nice size. I, I bought a pair. Didn't Isn't this what I bought that I returned? Because when I put them on, it made my feet look like I had like, uh, what's the one that walks around in the woods that everybody's looking for? Bigfoot? Yeah. Like, yeah, I looked like I had, had big well, feet. Or you had flippers on. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looked like. It was terrible. Okay, and then I got this. Which, for something like this, they don't charge you by the pound because it's probably weighs. It's an OGO. Yeah, it's it's a um, what's it called? Luggage. Yeah, it's a piece of luggage, so it opens. It's like a backpack, but it's a carry-on size. It has the wheels. And then it opens like this. And it does it have the? It has a handle too, right? Uh oh. Now I know maybe why it was there. I'll have to fix that. Thankfully, do that, that is a pretty easy fix. But yeah, it should be easy to fix, but it's nice. I like it. And, and then they put a little Goose Beer Company, Goose Island Beer Company thing, because you know what? who this was? It was a Corona. Oh. So Because this fell off the path, and then uh -huh. they glued it on, and it said Corona on it, and they tried to black it out with a, a Sharpie. So someone was not a Corona fan, so they put Goose Island on. Yeah, I wouldn't want a Corona one. Yeah. But anyway, it cost all of two dollars, and yes, so because that $2. is a heavier item, and they didn't even charge for hard goods. And since the cashier saw that we had bought so much, she only charged us two dollars for that. So the most yeah. bang for the buck actually was probably that, or there I think Brian's keeping it. And then when you see like the Afghan and that, where they just charge you a flat rate instead That's of weighing be, it. Well, how much was that again? Three bucks. It was. I think it was three dollars. Two, two forty nine. That's cheap. Yeah. That's so. cheap. Okay, so that's what I got. Um, mm -hmm. I think it was a pretty. We were there about two hours. I don't know if I'm. Hey, it's us again. Hi. Thank you for making it all the way to the end of our video. Yes, please like, subscribe. Hit that bell. Yes, please, and thank you very much. And please comment if you have any comments or questions. Thank you very Thanks. much for watching. Bye.